Antis have crossed another line in persecuting the shooting community. The homes or businesses of thousands of gun trader website users have been plotted on a Google Earth overlay and animal rights extremists and anyone else is invited to pay them a visit. The leak was in July, but the new map makes people like Desmond, whose details were exposed, feel even more threatened. Yeah, they confirm they've got my name, mobile number, address, GPS of last login, which fortunate enough isn't on my address, but they've already got that anyway. Yeah, it's concerning what they've got, definitely. If you can get it downloaded onto Google Maps, then yeah, it, it could lead to not just criminals with thefts, but it also aunties sitting outside people's houses, workplaces, you know. But it must be frightening for some people. My wife is, is more concerned to be honest. We've got security arrangements in place. I've got CCTV, I've got plenty of locks and stuff, stuff like that. I'm not too worried about the guns. It's more being targeted, um, especially with the badger call. Certain people got home visits that had even just been supplying equipment. Some of those did receive abuse and, and phone calls, news and calls at the different times of the day, didn't they? So that's that's the least of it really, isn't it? And, and you should call out. I'm more concerned about people coming graffiti in my house up and or even possibly criminals get a hold this information and see me as a as like a, a soft target to access firearms. In twenty twenty, Stop the Calls leak of data about hundreds of people involved in government sanctioned badger calls sparked protests outside the house of a couple who developed tracking hardware used by the colours, among other people. And he's terrorised them for days, scrawling graffiti on the drive and waking them up in the middle of the night. Hunting Leak's release of the gun trader data takes this harassment of the field sports community to a new level. Besides the usual antis, it invites terrorists and criminals into the fold. With this, it's not just the case of you've got two sort of warring groups in the countryside who are largely affecting each other and not that many others. This, however, is of instant interest to every criminal and terrorist group in the country. The fact is now you can go on the internet, download a spreadsheet, put it into Google Earth and see, aha, right, there, there, there and there are addresses that are likely to have firearms stored in them. Let's get a group together and, I don't know, take a gas axe with us or we'll just wait outside the door and club with the only one who comes out with a, a strangely shaped bag on his shoulder. That is the main scale of the threat here. And this is why I'm talking about the Terrorism Act, because the what I'm referring to there, Section 58 of the Terrorism Act 2000, that makes it a criminal offence to make a collection of data that would be useful to a terrorist who's preparing to do something or other. If creating a precise list of the storage locations of most of the firearms in England and Wales doesn't count as a collection of information likely to be useful to a terrorist, I don't know what does, quite honestly. Desmond questions why GunTrader was keeping some of the data and how come it was accessed so easily. The only thing they didn't manage to get is the passwords, which is the least of my concern because they've got everything else that they could get if they had my password in the first place. So <laughs> it's a bit pointless that being encrypted. I think it's odd that why are they keeping uh, data on locations where people are logging in? It could identify a pattern of where people are moving, so whether you're out about with your guns. Gun trader really is a massive, you know, that they're a massive victim in this. So blaming gun traders solely and people going after like the GDPR route and stuff. And there's a, a number of um, solicitors openly sort of advertising now that you may be able to gain compensation. When I searched uh, gun trader leak it was the first six hits was uh, solicitors you, you can't really blame gun trader for this that they've been hacked and government websites get hacked you know it, it's it's one of those things which we're all having to live with at the moment good trader uh, users have, have been told that not to worry because it's been taken down from that website but how many people downloaded that, uh, is it a KML file for Google Earth? How many people have downloaded that and distributed it? Once something's on the internet, you can't, you can't stop it. I don't think it's the end of it. I think it's probably just the start. Google seems to have removed the map from its servers. A police investigation is thought to be ongoing, led by Wiltshire Police, which has no jurisdiction over Iceland, where the Hunting Leaks website is based. We asked Guntrader for an update, but they did not respond.